very good morning everybody and welcome to the Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships for 2024. We're live from Potter's Resorts once again here in Hopton on Sea. So let's have a look what we have for you this morning. It's Alex Marshall MBE taking on the New Zealand qualifier Martin Kreft. So what do we have for the rest of today? One o'clock, it's the grand final of the Ladies World Match Play. Catherine Rednell against Julie Forrest. Following that game, round about three o'clock, is Nick Brett against Billy Mellers. And 7.30 is Michael Stepney taking on Paul Foster MBE. So it's going to be a really, really good game this morning. Martin Kreft, the New Zealand qualifier. Well, he beat Mark Dawes in the first round. Great win there for him. Taking on Alex Marshall MBE. A win here for Alex could see him return back to the top 16. We're going to go live to the portable rink now and pick up the coverage from the BBC. Thank you very much, Rishi. Yes, welcome back to the International Arena here at Potter's Resorts. Our first player out this morning, we have a New Zealand Bowls Inter-Club Team Champion. It's his first appearance at the World Championships and last week he knocked out the world number five to make it here today. Welcome out, Martin Kreft! <laughs> His opponent is a five times former world pairs and six times former world singles champion. Currently ranked number 18 in the world. Please welcome out from Scotland, it's Alex Marshall MBE. <laughs> Good morning, Rishi. A big challenge here for Martin Kraft. It's not going to be easy in any way because Alex Marshall, although out of the top 16 this season, he's still one of the best in the world. Jack, 29 meters. Marshall now spending more and more time in Australia playing in different events. This will be the key to this match for Martin Kreft, if he can get in. Making a good correction, there's a second ball. Is it short of Jacko? <clears throat> yeah, five inches short of Jacko. Yes, he's going to have to beat Alex to uh, the Jack with the first two balls. four inches you're thinking it might last for a ball or two. Yeah that's the hope isn't it? Not on this occasion. He's taking a very narrow line down in this backhand. Ball standing up. Close with this. Yep. 
Just a little touch to straighten them up, but the weight was perfect. One great. I'll show to John Kyle, please. Uh, yeah, seven inches. <coughs> Close again, gets an edge and rolls through, That's exactly the same thing. Yeah, very nice little touch to come in, yeah. get back, get back Martin into got the two head. edges, Alex Wondering. got two edges, so honours even. Just green bolt, and his own front short bolt. A great opening end of bowls. This is a great effort. He needs to turn his own on, get the gap. Wow. Just needed to flop down. Yep, just one more roll over and he would have had shot. Just got the clip of Alex's front roll first. Shot, Alex Marshall. 1-0, first down. Desmond lie there and his mum. They're here for the duration of the event. Loving every second. Jack length, 36 and a half metres. Both players deciding to play off this forehand, which is unusual. Not too many players have been leading off that side of the rink. Good ball. Well done. One great. My last one, Alan, please. There's a four inch gap. My last one. Oh, your last one, um, 18 inches short of Jack Ho. Mm. 
It's not particularly easy to get that ball out. Alex can play a shot if he really wants to, but I don't think he'll bother much. I still think he'll try and draw this. Well, he is going for it. Yeah. Doesn't look happy. Not far away, though. I think that got down a little bit quicker than what he expected. His body language when the ball left him more or less said, I'm very wide of this. Yeah, it came quite quick at the end. He's obviously looking to get under this green bowl, onto his own red bowl for the, for the bowl or the jack. Slightly wider the target. Shot, Martin Craft. Set score 1-1 one, one after two ends. Nine end sets, two of them of course, and a three end tie break as probably most of our viewers are aware of in the bowls world. And there's a hearing dog in Labrador and that is one of the most beautiful dogs you'll ever see. Jack length, 28 and a half meters. Marshall just letting the crowd settle down. People will be coming in for the, certainly over the next 20 minutes or so. Keeps the pressure on. If you miss this ball, you're going to be in bother. Come to the last one. Oh, he's trying hard here, just, just needs to run. Just in a hurry. Quite making second. Two. Two red. Billy Miller's on the left and Michael Stepney on the right, both in action later on today. Ran into them earlier. I mean, the short choice is an interesting option from Billy this morning. There's me in my thermal tights and snow boots and he's gone for shorts. Absolutely. Billy, Billy knows how to live. Good to see him back. Good to see him playing this level again. Just a 
slight adjustment. It's all Martin Kraft needs. Three shots against. Needs to run again now. A little touch. Probably taking one away. Very close for the second now, Alex. Do you favour anybody? Slightly favour yours. Interesting how Alex was communicating there with Alan Thornhill. <coughs> he knows what they ask and he's more than happy to take Alan's advice. When you're asking, do you favour anybody in particular for the second shot? I'd like to see the metal calipers come out. Oh, it looks like it's pretty clear there. And it's maybe the front green one. One shot, Alex Marshall. Score to one after three. The arena is getting absolutely packed for this game. Check left, twenty eight and a half meters. <coughs> He knew out of the hand that that was just slightly over the weight. That's a good sign. Means he's feeling the carpet. Feeling the pace and... Uh, plays a lot of balls, Alex Marshall. But a lot of it's competitive play and that's the key to it. Two feet. <coughs> Alec Marshall just switching over his hand there. Doing a really good ball. 
That's the side that most players have been playing with their first two balls. This is a good effort if it can bend in time. Could draw the shot, well played. Yes, it just needs to drop. <laughs> it's rare the balls stay up like say, that. I was going to say, and it looked like it was going to fall. There is a rule in the laws of the game that when a ball has forward movement stops, you can wait 30 seconds for it to drop. And that's what they were just waiting for. One shot, Alex Marshall. Set score 3 1 after four innings. Six and a half meters. Static delivery, Martin Kreft, but that actually helps him because that means he's just using his arm. There's no step out, go wrong, but uh, you can make adjustments accordingly. Does play on very fast greens in New Zealand, uh, the UK. A static delivery is difficult for outdoors. <laughs> oh, this is a strange one. Just occasionally you get an end like this. Your, your nearest one, three feet. The furthest one, four and a half. And it becomes battle of the third balls. The players just looking to be the one to nail it first. <coughs>
Martin deciding I've had enough of that behaviour. I'll go on to the backhand. Decent effort here. Played it well. Very good. He's probably ran one ball further than he'd have wanted. Bit of a shoulder for Alec. Getting the shot for now. Screwed up, I think still one degree. Be a little bit careful with this one. Martin's back down the forehand now. Alex Ball just a bit dangerous. He had the option to turn it over and be one down. This needs to hurry. Lime is perfect for the job. One shot, Martin Craft. I don't think he was too concerned about it. No. One is good. Set score, 3-2 after five. Tight score in, five singles. different bowling club representatives here. A collective low bowling club, white top. Jack Lane, 29 and a half metres. At the Fairford Bowling Club. I think they're in green and yellow. And then Hudby Bowling Club and a few others as well. Green is actually a dark blue, but it's very attractive. Chances here. Well done. Great ball. He's playing Josh up very well. The qualifiers in New Zealand are enormous, so uh, he's obviously a good player. for another. Closing the head down a little bit. And I could be attacking this one, you call Keith. Oh yeah, forehand weight. Try and get the two balls out or spread the jack off the rink, get it on the respot. <coughs> oh dear. Wow, that took us closest one out. Didn't see that result. which in turn turned his own bowl away. I mean, it doesn't make any difference in terms of the scoreline, but a little bit more space for Martin to add 
another if that's what he's going to do. We can't see the back position. See, so got. Did both the balls go off? Both the balls were okay. off the rink, so. Okay. He's going to cover them. See where your sides to go. Add another. Can't blame him because the two greens would go. Wow, that's that's good shooting. It really is. And also force Alex Marshall into going again. Very good group in here. Played it well. Good memory. Going again, slightly less weight this time. Oh, good strike. Yep, I think he's just going to lose the one by the looks of it. Jack goes back in the race, but Martin has got one there. One shot, Martin Craig. Yeah, big improvement on the three that he was down. Good hit. And it just getting a piece of the jack to squeeze it off of the rink, back on the respot. Went from three down to just losing the one. Half meters. The long ends of a feeling that Alex will get hold of this jack, he'll go to his favoured short jack length. From maximum at the moment, he wants to get down to 23, 24 metres. Marshall with the red ball either side of it. I'm just going to see if he plays a bit more weight here. <coughs> just over the weight. Wasn't far away, but that's the hard shot, that yard on shot. He needs to cover the green balls in some way. <coughs> Trail still very much on. Yes, a sign of respect as well for your opponent. 
Don't bang another one in. Martin playing quicker on the other side, just gone under the head. Very easy to pull the shot there. So back to the draw. Alex line two, chance of another one. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Yes, yeah, so shorter Jack from Alec Marshall, as expected. He's a very good draw shot player. I noticed that in his first match against Mark Dawes, but he did play the old conversion as well. Another shot, but Jack High is not what he wanted. This is going to have to have weight. Just will whiz away. Didn't push through it. Need the line for a weighted shot and the weight for a draw shot. Looking at it as an area to play this ball, he's in a nice position as it is. But if we can get something right about here, 
that would be ideal on the forehand. That'll probably come in a little bit, it's a little bit close to the edge, but that's ideally what he's looking for, that sort of area. He just needs to push this, it's coming inside, but no, I thought it'd have been deeper than that. Might have heard that actually because we did. Too wide. <laughs> Second it left his hand. Two shots, Alex Marshall. Well, Alex Marshall picking up a second con some consecutive two. Set score is 7 3 it's after 8 A little eight bit ends. of daylight here in this set. What had been very, very tight up until N6. He finds himself with a four shot cushion with one end to go. Like the ladies have been into the bull shop. be a matter of packing the head as well and position shots to make sure that Martin's no in no position to gain a four. It's a nice position to be in. Even if he gives it away it doesn't matter. Well that's good there actually. That's a very good ball. Still good though. Yeah, finished through the jack, which is what he needs if he's going to pick up a count later on in the end. He's got a clip of his own bolt into the jack. Just about perfect. It's brilliant. Right. He's got the shot. He's got really good position. He's still got the front bowl, which is hindering any kind of attacking shot. It's just a bit of debris in the front there before Martin can get to the jack, which he needs to move. Time out. Time Had to play that shot. It's so hard to do. It's, well, this end's gone. The set's gone. But uh, it's been interesting. Martin Krebs has drawn some actually, very man. good balls, but Alex has just been a bit more consistent in his play. So he moves to the shorter jack length, which is 
really his default choice if he's having a tight game. He plays it so well. Well, you can see the difference with Martin Kraft going for the long jack length, and Alex has been progressive in bringing it down from 28 metres at one stage all the way down to 24 and a half, and I think he'll keep to the shortest jack length, but uh, it all depends. He might, like, he might want to mix it up a little bit you know, so that Martin doesn't get into a rhythm. Jack length 26 and a half metres. It's gone a bit longer this time, 26 and a half. So that's the mid length. Disappointment of the first step, put aside. And just coming in for another bowl here. Good two opening bowls from Martin. Martin. Martin just looking to get to this back red bolt. The count as well, it's even better, and he has. Oh, Desmond Lai reacting to playing earlier on in the week. He just said the other night that he was really keen to see the tournament play out and watch the top bowlers. Yes, he's uh, made it very clear that he wants to stay the whole distance. I think he's definitely got a taste for um, life here and wants to be back on the portable rink next year if he possibly can. Chance for Martin Kreft, holding two, three would be a very good start to this second set. This is 
his own bat bowl doesn't look too bad actually I'm just thinking any touch in the jack he's going to make a, a four out of this but Alex Marshall's clapping this ball in knew that Martin had played a good pace, clapping it before it was even in. Yes, Neil Bryce will uh, sort this one out with the tape measure, a little box measure. Two players are having a chat at the side. Martin Kraft's been very popular here. He's a happy guy, he's a smiley guy. He looks a bit serious there, but he, he is like that. His father actually played for the All Blacks. The rugby field, and you can see where he gets his height from as well. Four shots, Martin Kraft. Well, that's an end to remember Zero for four. Martin Absolutely. Kraft. Four against Alec Marshall. You take that. Ice course is well known in the Southern Hemisphere, has been for a long time, and uh, rightly so. He plays a lot of big events down there. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. So we have the ladies final coming up this afternoon, live BBC Two, one o'clock. Catherine Rednell against Julie Forrest. We're really looking forward to that one. Very good effort here, well played. Just coasted around Alex Short, red bolt. You can definitely see how he does damage, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, not only has he got the shot, but he's tucked the jack right round the corner here. And it's hidden by the short bowls. Some really good balls in this match. The rink's playing well this morning. It does vary, of course. It, it has to. It's atmospheric conditions do affect it. Just same with everywhere and bowling clubs as well. 
I know our green uh, sort of back of Belfast is very susceptible to a few temperature uh, changes. Oh, it is zero degrees outside, but uh, considerably oh, warmer in here. This is good. Two degree and after picking up a four. Yeah, Martin just looking onto Alex's back bolt for a second shot. And not close enough to leave a shoulder for Alec to get the shot off of it either. What an effort this is. See you here. Make a second shot, not sure. Calling for the umpire, I think Alex believes it's just the one, but uh, that looks very close to me. Looking for the closest red one of the two and then up against the green. Green looked in. Looks well in. Now they're looking for the other one. Back to the original red one. Two shots, Martin Frank. Score, six, zero after I think what it was was Alex actually thought it was two shots and uh, Martin wanted the third one measured just in case but they kept the two of them in just to make sure. Alex got a good eye for measures. Not all the players have, I can think of one or two that are, haven't been <laughs> terribly good at it. Check length 28 and a half metres. Very good start, 6-0 after losing the first set and he's definitely playing some very good draw balls. Yeah he is, he's really packing the heads, the last couple of ends have been very strong, really consistent play. Forcing Alec into kind of the recovery balls. Very good adjustment, Malik.
we'll get the number one shot, get a one good right. second. It's not bad at all. Winner of this match will play Les Gillett. Ranked number two in the world, Les. He's had a, a very good run in recent years, playing with great confidence. has three timeouts remaining. to draw again. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. We saw heard him say too heavy. He knew out of the hand it wasn't right. Not an easy third one to uh, add this. Great effort. He's done it. Not easy, but there he goes. Yeah, and he was encouraging that forward because he knew if he got the jack absolutely squeezed out, I bet he could make four out of it. He had to squeeze past the front green ball. Fantastic head of balls from Alec Marshall. That's what I was saying about mixing things around a bit. It's a good tactic if you want to shake your opponent off a little bit. Don't want them to get into any sort of rhythm, as long as you can keep controlling what you're doing. It can be very effective. Yes, just because a, a jack length is shorter, it certainly isn't any easier. I think this new underfilt has actually helped in some respects for a lot of players because it's not as slick as it used to be. Sometimes it was actually too quick. It was just the nature of the portable rink, but uh, this is at a nice pace. People are feeling the touching the, the weight of the ball on the rink, and that makes a big difference. Too ready. My as well, Alan. How far off the back of the jack, please? Uh, you've got a seven-inch gap. One here, how far short, please? 
Martin's bow is just over two feet. Expecting a little bit of weight here from Martin, but he doesn't seem to play too much of that. He seems to be very much a draw shot player. Yeah, very confident to draw himself out of trouble. It's not falling again. Too red. <laughs> Down. He's got three the last end, he's lying three this end. Surely there'll be a bit of weight here because uh, there's an opportunity for damage limitation. Take balls out, run the jack through. Chances are he's going to cut it down to one. He might just pick up the shot. Yeah, switching on to the forehand, play a bit of pace under his own green ball. <coughs> Inside line. Not much pace on this. It's coming very well. He needs to hold now. He needs solid connection. Yeah, good effort. Yeah, he's unlucky there not to lock completely onto the shot bow and get shot himself, but he's certainly improved the situation. Break under the green bow comfortably. Just didn't really want that jack movement. Alex Marshall. Yes, the 6 0 deficit. Suddenly, Alex Marshall's right back Set in this again at 6 5. <laughs> See if we go slightly longer again after the 23 and a half metres. Well, he's keeping the mat right back on the tee. I think he's pushed this a little bit further than what he wants. Yeah, didn't look happy there. Yeah. I think this was meant to be a couple of a couple of metres shorter. Jack down, 26 metres. Yeah. Probably uh, two, two and a half too long. But it happens sometimes the jack just rolls over the top. It's an art in itself, putting the jack exactly where you want it. Not a bad start, is it? No, it didn't bother him too much, did it? He needs to worry too much about pushing the jack on a couple of extra meters. No, he made that look like there's no problem at all. <laughs> Fabulous opening balls from Alec. Great try. Too red. Yeah. It's hard to get down there from a height if you're just carrying that little bit extra weight. <laughs> I 
we can come right the way around here. Short of where he wanted. Yes, he's got another bulb. It's a bit more of a target, although Martin isn't, isn't playing that side. That's gone quicker, though. Oh, that's going to go quick. Yeah, that's... He's whipped a few out there. It's a backhand running ball, not a forehand running ball that he really should be playing because the width is better on the backhand. Just looking at the angles here and looking to see if all his three bowls will go. Yeah. Well, that, that's what he's looking at. You know, if, uh, really, really, if Martin can get into there, he'll then come on across. Now, that'll all go. The Jack, in theory, should end up over this sort of direction. So I think he, he might think about this, about putting a back ball in, but uh, not too far away. Maybe in this sort of area would be good. Either side of the centre would be good. It's going to be hard for that Jack to get back just at the angle of the ball so he could even draw another shot onto the green one. That's what I was thinking on the other side as well. Both sides of the centre line are good. Just about as hard as it gets. I didn't fancy that shot much. Three shots, Alex Marshall. And Alex picks up another treble and run out. Set score, eight six after five minutes. Six nil down did six nil down didn't phase him, Sean. He was he always Looked like he was going to come on to a game in the second set, but my goodness me, 3-2-3. Three, three. It was similar in the first set. I mean, he kind of played the played a patient game. That's He's so experienced, that's what he's going to do. And then when he had the opportunities to score more than a one, he took them and just finished off the set. And similar here, he six down, but early doors. And then pulled three incredible ends of bowls together to pick up eight shots. Again, Paul Foster just watching to see how his, his friend is getting on. Usually for a Kiwi, Martin Kreft doesn't look to have the, the heavy drive available to him because there's been a few heads in this match that have been screaming out to be hit. And this style of play definitely seems to be to draw himself out of trouble. Sometimes we thought it would be a given that it would be clearing something out, like last end was a typical example. Definitely opting to play the hard shot on more than one occasion so far today. Very close again with a draw shot. It's definitely a strength, but sadly as well, it can also be a weakness because you really have to have all of the 
all of the shots in the toolbox to take on the likes of Alec Marshall. Having said that, he beat Mark Dawes, who's one of the best. By drawing his way out of trouble. The back position is the problem for Alex Marshall. He's, time call. he's looking that's to see time that's remain. what he's looking at is when he gets into this red ball, the green ball will pop out, and then he's got the other two balls scoring. But if it goes wrong and that jack moves somehow or other, it could end up right back in here, and he's going to be losing two shots with another ball to come. So might be better just to try and draw this and accept the fact that he might lose a one, but he could draw the shot in the backhand. Yeah, I'm just, just trying to draw it in the back. And in fact, I just see the weight. No, he's not. He's not even attempting that. He's accepted the situation and just said, right, you know what? I'm going to go deep here. Just in case Martin would play ball on the ball for the jack, he could have made two or three. And it's a tough one to, to suck up on that because, yeah, now he's just pointing at the island, he could have played front ball onto it. But Martin has to play a really good ball to make this two. One shot, Martin Craig. Set score in seven after six ends. Still a tight game. This is really good. Played that incredibly well. Oh. That was a stunning shot. 
really was. Weight had to be inch perfect to get this right. Contact with Alex Ball. Ran through with the jack to his weight in one for two. My front red one. The front red one is 10 inches short of jack height. Well, this isn't the easiest, the easiest shot to get out of. That's why Alex is playing with a little bit of weight. Not a full drive. Oh, wow. oh he called for the jack. That was the key result. Yeah, I thought he had the jack. Feathered it. Ooh, did make contact with the back green bolt. Yes, he did, but his own ball ran off the rink. Two green. So two to green. But there's only one red ball in there, and uh, we're coming really to the business end of this set. He's going again, is he? Well, he's got the last bowl, so that probably makes a difference. Well, he's interested again. He's closer this time. He's got the front bowl first. Well, that'll be in the ditch and stay in the ditch. I think he'd be very happy with that. He will. Everything's opened up. Got the space now. And he's got a bowl to come. So one bowl shootout here. Made great connection with the front bowl to stun the jack. Jack runs all the way through. Nearly three metres away in terms of, well, probably two and a half the jack. It is beatable, but at least he's put it in there. It's a number one. It's turned out to be a fascinating game. had the pace to draw the shot, just got caught on Martin's front green bolt. Set score, eight, eight, I'm just eight, diving seven, in here and connecting with the opposition green bolt. Yeah, <laughs> I think he was surprised at that. Real battle on now. Desmond Lye still enjoying himself with his mum. Jack Knight, 29 meters. <coughs> Back to the more favoured jack length for the New Zealander. Why? That's good. That's exactly the sort of start you want.
Darn weird. Stuff. Can't argue with that shooting, can you? Gaps, please. Uh, both, both two intact. Yeah. Gaps, Glenn, yeah, both, Jason oh, two Banks. Two both. Yeah. both went out in their matches yesterday. Uh, both bowls are two inch gaps. Thank you. Yes, Jason had a terrific game, played really, really well. Well, single ball target. Just on the wide side. He's in trouble here. He is. Run for cover, Martin. Yes, he'll be thinking to himself. If he hits this, it's got to go to the respot or at least deep. The angle is such that it's aiming to the right side, the left side of our picture if we bowl on the jack. You can just see the little white dot, that's the respot position, but he's ignoring that and going very deep. Either way, it was a good call. Two green. Oh, he's just trotting down. He's, he's, he's looking very healthy, you know, he's tanned and all of this time in Australia is doing him the world of good. A little bit less weight, I think. He's very close. It's almost bound to happen if he didn't get the angle absolutely perfect to go on the respot. It was going to go deep into the ditch. He caught the edge of the front, front green bolt. Jack's gone through, but it's in the ditch, followed by Martin's bolt, and of course, his one that was already waiting there. Very wise, just taking a little bit of extra time to think about this. It's a big bolt. Yes, one side of the rink is virtually blocked off just because of the sheer volume of bowls that are in the way. And the narrow side, well, that's exactly what it is. It's narrow. It's going to be quite hard to get to the jack position. You can add another shot. Line two, you can give it a chance to get right up to the dead. She's now line three, and Alex Marshall's got a big drawing ball. So he's going to have to skirt with the, the side of the rink. I think he almost has to accept the fact he has to get second shot here. And shot would be a bonus. He's certainly a lot wider than Martin was. But uh, I don't know if his ball will just stand up long enough. Second shot. Yep, and you're right. You know, that was really important for him to get a second shot in there. Don't worry too much about the shot. Certainly doesn't want to be dropping any more than one going into the final end of this second set. Set score 8-9 after 8 ends. All credit to Martin Kraft for coming back. He had a 6-0 lead and Alex really put on the afterburners and 3-2-3 and Martin Kraft has come back with some brilliant bowls. Three singles, could have been a lot more than that. Jack Lang, 28 and a half. Alex meters. Marshall is digging deep into all those years of experience to try and get him over the line in this match.
comes after Alec Pierre and he's got it. Great ball. Oh. What a ball. Oh, it's Alex the way Marshall. control again, isn't it? Like he's playing these with such perfect pace. Very, very small. Thirsty touch. Yeah, it's weight control is Get that so ball and brilliant. not pick up any jack movement. All right, got a toucher, but it's executing them so well. Alex must have been thinking, well, it's one on the jack. I might get a chance to build on this, but been taken away from him very quickly. It's going to be hard to draw the shot, but he needs a little tap on it. And we all know that no matter what hand you're playing, yard on shot, never easy. Doesn't matter what surface you're on. <coughs> Wants to be behind it with this one, doesn't want to frame it. I think if that jack is bouncing off the back ball, Alex will attack this. I don't think he's got much of a choice anyway, to be truthful with you. The little tap on it is the perfect shot, but it's a difficult shot. And he has got last ball, so get that jack out into the open. building up, a lot of interest in this game. It's been a fascinating game to watch. Just missing the target by the finest of margins there. And that's going to make it difficult now for Alex Marshall to win this set. I think he knew he was just a shade on the high side. But it does get back quick. Amazing how uh, information travels around the venue whenever things are going tight for a top player like Alex Marshall. Yep, staying away from it. You don't want to get anywhere near that. <laughs> Absolutely not. This is a tough one here because you can play the little touch on it, coming back from a, a running ball. You can go again and hope that he flicks the edge of the ball and then manages to run with the jack. Either way, this is this is hard. Pushed it, he thinks. Thinks he hasn't pushed through it. Yeah. Yeah, he was right. Wasn't much, but he knew it. He looks very, very relaxed out there, Corky Martin does. He held his nerve in that so second set Martin to get over the, the line, He's having got off to a really strong start in the first couple of ends and having Alec come right back at him. He genuinely looks like he's really enjoying himself. Very cool looking guy, you know, as I say, he walks about the place and uh, anyone who speaks to him, he's, he smiles away and has a quick word. So, three and tie break. As all the bowlers that are watching will know by now, but there's always Many of you may meters. not know. It's just win the end. No accumulated shots. So you can win 2 0 or 2 1. And if it goes to the third end of the tie break, the rules change very slightly again, and I'll come back to that. Martin Kraft actually won the jack toss and decided to take the jack because he wanted to go long. 
I knew Alex would want to go short in this direction. Most of the time the players want the last ball. Good. Please, tw 12 inch gap. Still a draw. The red ball can be popped out. Here, surely. Got to play the runner down the forehand, doesn't he? <coughs> Try and split those red balls. Time out call. Well, that's what he's Martin looking has for. One time out into there. Now you have to bear in mind that if that Jack does run, there's a green ball back here, and that's the receiver. He's always pulling them. It's obviously not his strength. He's very much a draw shot player and he's very good at that. See him that tight line. I think that's about four or five in the trot. He's pulled across. First end, Alex Marshall. The thing is, we talk about good opening bowls a lot, but that end was a classic example. So Martin chose to keep the jack and pick his own length, but because his first two bowls were a little bit looser than he has been playing, just gave Alec op the opportunity to get in there and he took full advantage. And then Martin finds himself in a difficult position with his third and fourth deliveries because he's having to get himself out of trouble. Big Scottish support here. Big day for the Scots here in the next game. Got Julie Forrest featuring. Game after that, you have Billy Mellers from Scotland against Nick Brett. And this evening's game, two Scots with Michael Stepney and Paul Foster. Generally speaking, Alex will always want the last ball, hence why he said to Martin, you take the jack.
wife's boat. I used to run. Yeah, seven inch gap on Martin. Make this stuff all behind you. Yours is jack high. Sure there's a lot of people tuning in to watch this in New Zealand and I can tell you Martin Kraft is doing very well. He's been well he's not the best result from Alex Marshall there. He really didn't want to bring that jack out. Let's give Martin a look at this. This forehand pulls up a little bit. Needs to run, not far away. Have another Alex, look. Two time match, mate. Let's look and see what he's going to play here. You know, it, the danger area for Alex is really around here because if that jacket's pulled, that's where it's going to go. But getting the ball there is not easy. He doesn't want to play the forehand in case he frames it and makes it a bigger target. Well, he's playing the forehand, but he's playing it much wider. And he's just decided to play deep, just in case. And But Martin Kreft's type of play, the way he has been playing, he'll just try and draw this. I think so. Picks up the jacket, it's OK, but just trying to play the neat bowl like he has been for most of the match. Yes, he's been a good ambassador for New Zealand, played very well, socialised everywhere with everyone, been very happy to chat to people. And he's pushing the six times world champion right to the edge. But one ball to stay in the championship. Certainly not wide. This is close. This is very close. He's a good connection on that green. He won't have the pace. No. Just didn't have the pace. <laughs> Touch of the line would have done. There's a couple of cheeks from Alex Marshall. He knows he was in a game today. A lot of people thought that Alex would just be too consistent for uh, Martin Kraft. In the end, he was. But my goodness me, <laughs> the big man did his best there and I thought he played some great balls. He did, that was a very, very high quality game right from the outset. I mean, the first set was tight right until the end. The second set, the lead changed a couple of times, but make no mistake, Martin took Alec right to the edge there. Confirmation score, 2-0 in the tie break, makes it 2-1. Alex Marshall and we'll get an idea of just some of the great balls that this Kiwi brought to the match Alex Marshall will be de absolutely delighted the way he played because he played really well but he was up against an opponent who was pushing him and all the tools had to come out to try and stay with the Kiwi first set he put the pressure on got a good run at the end won it 8-3 but Martin Kreft was right back again on the first end of the second set by picking up a four. And then Alex Marshall started to fight back with another three, and three, and another one after that on end five. But Martin Kreft wasn't for giving up. And Alex
Alex Marshall. That was the last ball in the second end of the tie break. It was just enough to get the Alex over the line and he's into the quarterfinals and he'll be well pleased with that because he's now back into the top 16. The end's won 11-9. You know, total shot scored. Not much now. That was really the first set. It did uh, a fascinating game, no doubt about it. And Alex, well, he was pushed, but he'll be delighted. Brilliant entertainment on the blue rink this morning here at Potters. Um, Martin, obviously there's disappointment about losing a match like that, but it looked like you enjoyed yourself. There is disappointment, but how can you be disappointed when you get to play a guy like this? It's unreal for a bowler that just rolls up on a Saturday to get down here and <laughs> have a chance at playing against Alex and um, giving him a wee, bit of a, a wee bit of a fright on the way is good. Yeah, there must have been moments where you thought you had him, well, you definitely had him on the ropes. I'm sure he'll attest to that in just a moment. What were those moments like for you? Oh, I don't think I ever felt comfortable like that because um, we know what he's like, but I just enjoyed it. Um, Potters has been great. I've been here for 20 days nearly, so um, it definitely gives you a bit of a hunger to come back and try it again, especially when you play these sort of fellas. Lovely, and we'll love to have you back as well. Thank Very you. good entertainment, as we said this morning. Alex, it looked like it was all going to plan, but the effort from Martin, particularly in that second set, to drag himself back into it and put you under pressure was something that I'm sure you felt un under pressure for. Yeah, I did, to be honest. You know, I never felt from the word go that it was going to be any easy game. You know, he beat uh, Mark Dawes, who's a top-class player. And Mark just not played his best, but the balls that, that Mark played against Mark Dawes were sensational. And I knew that I had to come out today fighting, had to play my best. But there was a lot of ends where I thought that I'm guaranteed the shot here, and here we go up and just draw a toucher, then another toucher, then yeah. another toucher. And that's what puts you under pressure. And I feel a couple of times that the, when the jack was in the ditch, but credit to, to Martin, I thought he played fantastic. And, you know, that could have went either way at the end, to be yeah. honest. Well, you, this season or this year, you're here as an unseeded player. Um, what's that experience like for you, a six-time champion? Yeah, no, it's hard. It is really hard when you drop out of the top 16. You know, I spend a lot of my time in Australia now. Uh, I can miss uh, one, one or two events before, which doesn't help your point system, but I lost two first rounds previous last year, and once you lose two first rounds, then it's hard to come back from that. But I believe, I think I'm in the top 16 now, so, yeah, it, it, I'd rather be in it than not be in it. Mm. But, uh, but, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's hope I can go one or two stages further. Uh, Les, for you, next. Looking forward to that? <sighs> Les is a top-class class player, great player. He's playing really well. Uh, I think Les has beat me the last two or three times, but... You know, Friday's a different day, yeah. so if I can play like the way I did today, I'll be happy. But, you know, myself and Les, you know, we'll have great games together, so hopefully it'll be another one tomorrow. Well, you should both be happy with the way you played today. Commiserations, Martin. Very well played, though. Congratulations, Alex. You're through to the quarterfinals again. Well, there we go. What a fantastic game there. The New Zealander, well, he did himself pride. Excellent, good, good display of balls. Shows you why. The qualifiers year and year again try and get to here. Welcome back to Alex Marshall. He's back in the top 16, I think, there. So uh, he'll be delighted with that. So let's have a look at what we have for the rest of the day. So one o'clock is the final of the Ladies World Match Play. Can Catherine Rednell make it a sixth or will Julie Forrest make it a third? We'll have a look at one o'clock. Three o'clock, we're going to go back to the World Open singles. It's Nick Brett against Billy Mellors from Scotland. And at 7.30, it's Battle of the Scots. It's Michael Stepney against Paul Foster, MBE. We'll be back with you at one o'clock. So until then, bye-bye for now. to do anything like that. You know, the old days of the, the boring holiday are over, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen.